Hi everybody. We haven't done this in a while. We are live from. It should be a interesting crowd here at for the Ring of Honor Best of the World, the Best in the World live event. Uh, I'm not alone. Say hi to um, Dad. Say hi. Hey, how you doing? Yes, we're live on Periscope and hello Patreon viewers, because this is going to go on the Patreon account before I put it on our YouTube page. So hello Patreon people as well. So, we're here, we're going to talk about what's going on tonight, and we don't know much. I'm not going to lie. Well, there you go. We don't know a whole lot. Oh, by the way, what page of the script are we on tonight? Ah, uh, 42. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, anyway, we are going into this show kind of blind, which is very unlike the last time we went to a show, where we knew the entire card. Okay. This time, we're going in kind of blind. We only know three matches going in. Okay, Blake, explain to the people why this is happening. Well, we have two issues. Number one, last night's show was in Hopkins, Minnesota, and it was Tag Wars Night 1. Um, and, and make sure you use Google Maps to find that. Yeah, it was Tag Wars Night 1, and the thing was Tag Wars is a tournament style, much like when we went to the last show we were at, when we were here for Night 1 of Survival of the Fittest. Right. So the, in Hopkins, they didn't have a car for the second night. Well, we don't have a car for this night because of the tournament. But we do have Night 2 of Tag Wars. And it is a number one contendership match for the de- for the um, tag team titles. It is the Briscoes, who obviously are not going to win because Jay Briscoe is facing Jay Lethal already at the pay per view. Uh, you spoiled it. The All Night Express. Okay. And Silas Young and the Beer City Bruiser here in Milwaukee. So that means who's winning this match? The All Night Express or Silas Young and the Beer City Bruiser? Well, to face the addiction okay. at best in the world. Okay. My heart's got to go to the hometown team, but my brain says All Night Express is going to pull out the win. It dawned on me that I was sitting here, why are the Briscoes in this match? Because I'm sure there was more than one injury to one of the uh, one of the crew, or the talent as people like to call them, so they have to shift around things. Well, you said injury... And um, for those who don't know, Adam Cole's in the hospital. With? Adam Cole has pneumonia. And he got it from his girlfriend. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's not true. It's a bad situation. It actually is a bad situation right now. He's been there for three days now. Yeah. So it's a bad situation. From what you're able to read is that uh, his temperature is very high, uh, having difficulty breathing, and that's why he's been in the hospital to... Uh, Make sure that he's got fluids and he recovers with antibiotics. So, obviously... So, uh, well, wishes to uh, Adam Cole to get better soon. So, last night, he was supposed to be in a match. He was actually supposed to be in a match last night. They replaced him with Will Ferrara last night. Tonight, he was supposed to be facing Cole Cabana. <laughs> and, and, well, that match ain't happening, obviously. Oh, well, there you go. So, we got a replacement match with Cole Cabana in it. Yep. It is Cole Cabana and Jay Lethal. Which makes absolutely no sense. No. Taking on, representing the Bullet Club, the Young Bucks. Okay, now, for those people who are wondering if there's a storyline for this match, that's a no. Especially since we're supposed to be hyping up Jay versus Jay for the pay-per-view. I don't understand this at all. The Battle of the Two Jays. So what do you think about, what do you think is going to happen in this main event? Okay. Let, let's kind of put things in perspective. Is number one... Jay's not going to lose the match tonight and be all embarrassed. And number two, uh, you knock off the Young Bucks, then you put yourself in a contention for God knows what later on. God down knows why exactly. That's the problem right. with so this whole match. The whole thing is, it, there is no storyline behind this, so anything can go. So I'm looking at, it's going to be a super kick party, and Jay's going to get super kicked out of the ring. I expect Colt to get the pinfall if they're going to do a pinfall at all. Yeah. I kind of do. My, my thing is, I think this is going to be a double disqualification because there really isn't nothing for either team to gain from this. There's no shot for number one contender. There's no shot at the title. So I think it's going to be double DQ because there's nothing left. The only thing I can see happening, I can see Colt and Lethal winning. And Jay Briscoe coming out. And attacking Lethal. And doing a run-in? Just because they have to do something. But this is the go-home show for best in the world. And they have to do something. Well, 
keep in mind the card may not be finalized yet. So, you, think? you, you think? know, uh, there may be other surprises that we're not aware of. So, who, yeah. Who knows? Maybe Delirious may make an appearance. Who knows? who knows? The last time he made an appearance, he was in a tag match with Cheeseburger. That's right. That happened. I swear that happened. <laughs> I, I probably see a match happening with Moose today. I just don't know who his opponent would be. That'd be fun, though. I, I want to see Moose today. The only thing I can think of is a true opponent to have against it would be Michael Elgin. Elgin's here tonight. There you go. Elgin is advertised. He was on last night showing Hopkins. There you go. The other match they didn't announce is almost like an exhibition match, I feel like. It's Kip the Fernandos. This is Kawahachi. Is that what we the Herman his name is at this point? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's just... Uh, a match to uh, showcase Daniel's uh, ability to... Uh, Is he still the almighty Christopher Daniels? Um, I don't know. He's still wearing that stupid general's outfit. He probably is still the almighty so, Christopher Daniels. The thing is, though, this is uh, a chance for to showcase Daniel's ability as a high flyer, as a ring technician, as <coughs> a guy that can basically do a little bit of everything. By the way, I just want to make a note. As I'm looking around here, is it near? Is it not as full of the house in our list? It's still a little bit early before showtime. What time so. is it? I don't even know what time it is. I got like almost five after six. Oh, so it's still early, yeah. So I, I want to make one note as I'm looking at the banners here, by the way. Okay, no. They updated the banners. And if you notice that Channel 18 is now Super 18. Okay, all right. For the, for the DCW okay, shows. All right, well, here you go, right? You got... Arrow and Flash okay, here is a Supergirl poster. Right. right. So that, I'm waiting for them maybe to put a Supergirl poster. And let's do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So I'm surprised there's not like one big mega poster yet. Surprise. Well, you know, a uh, friend of the show, David Gruber, the attorney, hasn't oh, made God. appearance yet. Oh, he got to be sitting up there in the balcony probably. Uh, well, then if you look high up on the ceiling, you see like there's hey, Daddy. nets. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice that before. So basically, my thing hey, is... Can we at least up for everybody to see? Yeah. It. It is, um, there's actual netting here. I don't know why. Why is there netting up here? Well, my thought is, okay, if there are people th throwing projectiles up th at the ceiling, it's not going to damage the ceiling. It'll be caught in the netting. Or in case there's a riot, the netting drops. One of the two. I don't know. There's <laughs> a riot. A riot out of Ring of Auto Shoes. Probably like a DCW. Es especially if the fans turn against the uh, Silas Young and Beer City Bruiser. It'll never happen! Well, the nets may come down. You never know. The problem I have, and I'm going to say this right now, Silas and Beer City Bruiser, maybe Beer City Bruiser, but Silas never gets booed here unless he's facing it all for Dalton Castle. Even if he's a... Who, by the way, is scheduled for the night show. Here's like... Whether he's a heel or baby face, Silas does not get booed. But he gives static back to the fans. So expect some fan interaction with Silas and Bruce City. Bru uh, Are we Bruce average? Or? Are we still average? Um, probably. For those who don't know, this, um, if you ever hear a wrestling opening on the show, that joke does make sense. Yes. <laughs> so, that being said, we're going to wrap this little up. Because like I said, we don't have a whole lot to talk about this time. But we will be back. Um, me and Dad will do sometime next week a little preview. Yeah. Ring of Honor, best in the world. Sometime oh, next week. Hey, I don't know when, but we will do a show. So, just remember, tonight's match, anything and everything is possible. Yes. So, uh, you know, maybe Mr. Wrestling 3 may make his last appearance. And he's helping El Generico with the orphans in Mexico. There you go. All right. There you go. Oh, I'm going to put a quick plug for those who don't know. Well, we'll be back on Friday with the Blake and South Show. We're previewing Money in the Bank 2016, which is going to be a fun, fun show. And we're also going to be um, talking about the lot and lives of Muhammad Ali and Gordon and Gordy Howe. And uh, Kimball Slice. And Kimbo Slice. And also talking about the Tony Awards, talking about the Stanley Cup Finals. It's going to be a fun, 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 fun show this week. So, till then, um, thank you all for listening. And again, thank you to Patreon subscribers for paying for this and having fun with us on Patreon. And um, have a good day, everybody. Say goodbye, Dad. Bye! Thank you for watching.